so hello everyone welcome to the ninth lecture on microsoft word so in this lecture we'll be seeing how to add signatures okay so in the last lecture we saw many different options like how to add screenshot how to add an online video then we saw how to add equations okay how to add a text box uh, how to uh, how many different parts actually are there uh, different quick parts are there okay and you can also save selections to quick part gallery how to add a word art so in this if i want to sign actually last time when we saw that microsoft actually gave an error okay now i will show you a neat way to sign that is you can do it through objects okay so in object actually if you click you can create so many things and add the same thing to the word okay so these are the options that are given so let me click this bitmap image okay so when i click that a paint document should actually open see so now a paint document is open okay so now i am considering myself the dean of the organization and then i will do a signature okay so i'll do is this random this is considering that this is a signature okay so once i draw this in the paint then immediately this image is actually copied in the word so if i minimize you can see that the image is actually copied so then this image is actually copied as an image file so whatever formats that needs to be done that can be done using this see formatting options itself in image you can do see so this is how you can do formatting of that so you can uh, wrap the text everything that can be done okay like you need to select this format option then you can select this then you can crop it so where is the crop see crop is here actually here so you can crop this So you select this crop icon then you select see you select this crop icon and then you crop the image okay and also you can text wrap it uh, i'll put square okay or in this you can just put behind the text okay then you can move the, move the image so let me press back to see what has happened so i'm clicking this i'm clicking wrap text i'm clicking let me click square okay so let it be square itself so i can actually move this like this okay so i can just press enter so that it goes one step down and i can keep my image uh, uh, or you can further edit this okay so this is how you add actually signature to the word document next what i have actually done is i have actually created a random paragraph okay so sometimes you see that in uh, when you are reading a book this first letter is actually very big and it moves to three lines okay so it is as big as it is fitting with three lines so let us see what how is that done so that is done using a drop cap okay so see these are two types of drop cap we have this is how actually in books so when we are studying this is how it actually looks so the first letter actually extends till three line and it, it is actually enlarged so this this shows us that that is a beginning of the book or a paragraph so this also can be adjusted by making it into a five line or a true two line so the how it is adjusted is drop cap options i have select the dropped thing and the number of lines and the distance from the text also it can be changed so this number of lines is defaultly set to three okay now let me increase it to five so okay so when i increase it to five you can see that the number of lines covering one two three four five so these are the five lines and the, the letter is made into a big so this is how you do a drop cap okay next we will see how to add a comment so comments are usually used when you are if more people are actually doing a project and you want a certain person to edit the document in a way what you want so you can add comment by pressing this and and the place where you wanted a comment can happen comment can, a comment will take place with the icon that who wants you to who has made this comment so in this comment you can actually write anything like uh, change the color or style of the text 
so let this be the comment so this is how you can actually add a comment to a word document so this adding comments become actually very useful okay because if many people are doing a single project and you have done your part and you have actually sent this word document to another person who might not understand the word document what you have done so to help him understand also you can actually add comments and that person can also add comment or remove the comment and send it to a next person so this is how all this adding comment is done in word document so next is adding a page number so whenever your document gets too lengthy like if you're doing some review or report writing then your document tends to go to a very long page such as 30 pages 40 pages that time you will not be able to add page number to all the pages so Microsoft Word already has a page number options in which you can add page number to the top of the page or bottom of the page or near the page margin and also in the current position also you have format page numbers also so you can design uh, whether you want it like an ABC order or one two three order just like bullets okay so so now first let us add the page number okay so you can in top of the page number itself you have many options like this accent bar so to indicate actually whether where which page you are and total number of pages so in this you say that i am currently in first page out of 30th page so that the user also gets to know so lot of options that are already available so let us select one option okay so generally page numbers are in the middle and in the bottom of the page so okay so we'll select the bottom of the page and we'll select this one because it looks nice so you see that page number is set in the footer uh, thing so in the footer you can also add date and time similarly what we saw okay and some pictures online pictures okay and this is actually known as a footer so every document that is every page actually has a header and a footer header is what is actually in the top place that is before the paragraph or before your information start that is known as a header and after your information that is the information on the first page is complete then whatever is present that is known as a footer so these are very useful when useful when you are doing a very big document and uh, you want to add page numbers many different things like organization name in front of in on the header so for example let me add a header okay so so document title so in document title i can keep it as a ms word okay so this is a document title and to add so this is how actually you had a uh, header okay in header also different style formatting is there and you can also change the uh, what size of the header and to close the header you can press this or if you want to go to the footer you can just select this and then you will be moved to the footer in footer we actually want page number okay so the, see you can see that i have selected page number so then close header and footer then it will be added so if i want to go to the next page also so if i press enter i'll go to the next page isn't it so i'll type some random uh, thing here so I'll press run and I'll create a 10 paragraph with some like 100 sentences okay so when I press enter see a lot of pages will be created okay so how many pages that is created how many ever pages let it be created it will have a header and footer that you have given okay so see the first page we have the header and footer in the second page also you can see that the header is already present and I'll go to the bottom see the footer will also get updated so in the second page you can see that the page number is updated to 2 so in the third page similarly you can add many header and footers so these are the different styles and there are many more styles that have been offered and you can see that the, there are so many page numbers that is there so this is how long a report can be and uh, during that report writing or during some other writing you can add footer and headers like this okay and also see three header three footer options are also available and there are so many different parts that are there okay so you can go to the next one so if you want to edit the next pages header and footer also that can be done so with this we have completed how to add an header and a footer in a page
So now we have only this links tab that is left over in the insert option. So we will see that later in this course. Okay. So because why because is linking is actually very useful method. And if I tell you how to link with a big and an exam a big of a what a big document and with an example you will be able to understand it very clearly okay so for now let us end this video about the insert tab and in the next video we will be seeing more about the design tab okay design tab is the next tab that we will be hovering through okay and at the end i promise you everyone that i will be completing this links tab and you need not and you need not miss any part of the word document session okay so hope to see you all in the next video thank you everyone